Big Ten football is brought to you in high definition by Phillips Televisions as the Wildcats come roaring out of the tunnel here at Ryan Field. And also was tremendous in the bowl game. The Outback Bowl, a career high nine catches for 120 yards, and Northwestern keeps it moving. Last season for the Redbirds. Here is second and short. This is Schmidt. Schmidt to midfield and a first down for the Purple. Another first down for the Wildcats from inside the 40. Persa with the time. Unloads complete. Ebert shakes one man and gets down to the 31. And then later in the game, go to the pass. Fields. Five. Down to the three. Persa from the shotgun. First and goal. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown. It's Dunsmore in the back of the end zone. On that offensive line for Northwestern. Persa on third down. He's got it. Sidney Stewart, first down, Northwestern. With a 23-yard field goal from Fetzer. Persa, third and 11, wants to go long. It is complete. Inside the 10, down to the 2. Rashad Lawrence. That huge 50-yard third down play in stark contrast. Four of 13 on third down against Vanderbilt, and they punched it in again. Touchdown, Wildcats. Spent several years as the defensive coordinator at Purdue under Joe Tiller. Brown on third down, wrapped up and taken down. It's Vince Brown with the sack number 94. And Brett Bazade joins us for this series here in the booth here at Ryan Field. And there's your buddy throwing a strike there to Ebert for a big gain on the play, Brett. Northwestern. <laughs> right. There's no dummies on this field on either team for that matter. Persa going deep. His man does a 360 and makes the grab. Sidney Stewart acrobatic deep into Redbird territory. With his hands. 28 yards on that play to Stewart for Persa. Over the middle, Dunsmore adjusts to that football. It's another first down close to the 20-yard line. Demos on the money. Persa with a touchdown pass and run. Demos the kickoff. This will be Erickson from the seven. Erickson to the 32. Brian Peters wrangles him out of bounds. Over to Illinois State, it is third and short. Northwestern stops him. Vince Brown, Keith Watt, fourth down, Illinois State. First and ten, nine and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. This is Fields. And Fields is close to a first down. Number 90. Sanders, fake to Sanders, the throw by Brown, and it's picked off. Quentin Davey with the interception. That pass play to Lawrence went for 50 yards. Here's Persa again, unloads complete. Ebert on the run, 15 to the five, dives for the pylon, and just out of bounds. Persa, Fields, runs into the line, second effort is enough. It is R.B. Fields. Third and short. Brown intercepted. And it's Quinton Davy again. Davy to the 30. Close to the 20 and out of bounds at the 22. Interception number two for Quinton Davy. That's a 47 yard re return by Quinton Davy. Second interception of the game. Persa complete. Fields. Leading 24 to 3, 16 seconds to go. Second and goal. Persa. Dunsmore. And for the second time in the game, those two have combined for a touchdown pass. And both of those touchdown passes to Drake Dunsmore. Harvey Fields continues to chew up yardage up close to the 45 yard line. We've got 9 minutes, 22 seconds to go in the third quarter and an interception. Corbin Bryant, third interception of the game. Quentin Davey has two, 
And now Corbin Bryant has one. And uh, we'd love to have Pat here for as long as he wants to be here. He could certainly be, um, you know, have a run like a Bobby Bowden or a Joe Paterno. Keel. Pressure from the backside, and Keel will be sacked. Vince Brown, number 94. And he's so encouraging with his words for all the young people out there in this, in this country, and especially at the University of Northwestern. Sack for the Wildcats. Damian Proby makes a sack. And putting him in the crosshairs and dropping him for a sack. Great looking play from Proby. More pressure. Keel gets it away. This is Leggett on the grab, taken down by Demetrius Dugar. In our meeting. I mean, he was very laid back, uh, very slow to speak to the guys about what was going on. But right here is a big play. Uh, the lateral uh, player. Ben. Finally makes the break big play for that football team. Ben Johnson yeah. realizes that it's a lateral, picks it up, rambles down the field, and makes another big play for the defense for the Wildcats. And a power football plan when they get into the heart of the season again. Couple of touchdown runs, couple of touchdown passes in the red zone, four for four. Can you make it five for five? I do not see a single, but now I do. Five for five in the red zone, Mike Trumpy. Takes it in. And Northwestern scores with 4.31 to go in the game. Pat Fitzgerald hopes to preside over this program for many years to come. And as Jim Phillips told us, a new seven-year agreement for Pat Fitzgerald to be the head coach here at Northwestern. The rain, not really a factor. We had plenty of it prior to the game. But not really a factor as Pat Fitzgerald can shake hands with his good friend Brock Spack. As the final seconds tick away, Northwestern in control almost from the outset. As you recall, the Redbirds had a big pass play to start the game, but from there, all Northwestern. Dan Persa on target, as you might expect, 19 of 23, 240 yards, two TDs. He was our player of the game. And Northwestern, very impressive in victory here against the Illinois State Redbirds out of the Missouri Valley Conference. So now Northwestern has a program 2-0 against the Missouri Valley Conference. Great ball game by the Wildcats all around, Rod. Yeah, you know, you, you have to like, if you're a Wildcat fan, and you have to like what you saw today. They came out, they dominated the game like they should have. They didn't give them a odd, they didn't give them opportunity to do anything outside of playing well and getting a win. Northwestern wins it for Rod Woodson. I'm Tom Wormy. Now we go to South Dakota at Minnesota. Craig Kashun and Derek Rackley.